At this time of the interview, Singh was not under arrest. Westchester police were able to bring him to the police department the night of the murders. It's for what police call a soft interview. This is how Gapreet Singh was dressed when escorted to the Westchester Police Department on April 28, 2019. He was covered in, in blood, obvious blood stains on his pants and his shirt and his socks. Um, he didn't have any shoes on. He appeared to be upset. Detective Randy Farris questioned Singh that night. Somebody, somebody killed your family. Yes, yeah, but why? I don't know. That's why I need your help. Farris asked Singh to walk him through the entire day leading up to when he arrived home. And then you go to the apartment. Is it locked? No. The door's open? The door open. Was it already open or was it shut? It, it, no, the door was open. It was already wide open. Yeah. Singh says he first saw his mother-in-law, Parmaji Kaur, bleeding. And then uh, I step inside uh, and then I see my wife over there and then I see my aunt and then like I told you, sir, uh, I just, I don't remember a whole lot after that. And I am just lying. Them. Singh had no objections to answering questions until what, what is it? This is a consent for me to take the swab from your hands. Ferris wanted to swab Singh's hands for gunshot residue. Yeah. Oh, I want to go home. Singh's demeanor changed. This is wrong. This is wrong. No one told me that this would happen. Singh was then read his Miranda rights. Police were able to obtain a search warrant. They did swab his hands. Singh was then free to go. At this point in time of the trial, there has been no testimony as to the results of that bugle swab. But right now, Ferris is still on the stand. He is being cross-examined by the defense. Reporting live in Hamilton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.